Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning. Now we are going to look at how we measure time using measuring instruments. One way of measuring time is using simple pendulum. Simple pendulum is very simple, right? There is one bob hanging here. The length we take up to the center of mass of the bob. G is acceleration due to gravity, right? And time period means the time to go from one here, come back here. That is the time to complete one full oscillation. Start from here, go there, come back here. So how this works? Basically, when the bob is here, its weight is acting down. One component of weight acts this way. That gives it a torque about this point. Torque is the turning effect of a force and this oscillates to and fro. This is called simple pendulum, right? The time period of this simple pendulum is given by this formula 2 pi root over L by G. L is the length of the string. G is the acceleration due to gravity. L is actually up to the length, up to the center of mass of the bob, right? So remember that. And this is 2 pi root over L by G, right? When you learn SHM chapter, we will derive this formula in dimension analysis. Also, you derive this formula T equal to 2 pi root over L by G. So, this is the principle work of working of a simple pendulum. One interesting question you can be asked is, suppose this pendulum is filled with sand or filled with water and that water or sand is flowing slowly out of this ball. What will happen to the time period? As this sand flows out, the center of mass is, of this ball will initially shift down. When all the sand has gone out, the center of mass will be coming back to that place. So initially the center of mass goes down, the length increases, so time period will increase, effective length will increase, right? so time period will increase. Now when the center of mass again comes back, then the time length will effectively decrease and time period will decrease. So, if this is filled with sand and the sand is slowly flowing out of this, okay, as the sand flows out, the time period initially increases because the length increases, then it decreases and comes back to the old value. Interesting question on simple pendulum. So, simple pendulum we can use to measure time. In olden days, we had got grandfather clocks, those big clocks with pendulum, okay. Those pendulum has used to have a time period of 2 seconds, like it starts from here, comes back in 1 second and again goes back in 1 second. Time period is 2 seconds, that is called seconds pendulum. The length of a seconds pendulum is approximately 1 meter. So, you have got a 1 meter pendulum, okay, put that L as 1, okay, and then you find that the time period is 2 seconds and that is called seconds pendulum. You have got stopwatch, right? Stopwatch is there, what? We start some time, a time, and then the time keeps on increasing. Again, we press it again, it stops. So, that is an instrument for measuring time. So, this way we measure time. We can have analog watch, we can have digital watch, we can have simple pendulum. All these are instruments for measuring time. Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.